Hello, racing fans. Welcome to Delaware Park. I'm your host, J.J. Gracie. We'll be watching races for Thursday, September 15th. We had eight races today. Our feature race was a six. It was an optional claim of 16,000 for one mile and 70 yards on a dirt. Our main track was fast. Our turf course was firm or soft today. The rail was out 28 feet. Uh, the weather here was really nice today. Uh, it was sunny. The temps were in the 80s, and we had a, a breeze about 10 to 12 miles an hour from the northwest. So let's take a look at the first half, the early daily double and the opener. That's Philly Amer style, 12-5, gone five and a half furlongs. Here's how Josh saw the opener leave. Away and running. Slow to go is Texas Girl and Iron Birdie. Great speed from Capriciosa today. Adriana Espinita came away at joint first place spot, and Miss Spoken came away in that third place position. Nothing makes sense as a ground saving fourth, and Wintress keeps her company. And the two that were slow to go is Iron Birdie and Texas Girl. There's four furlongs out, and Adriana Espinita now takes the lead away from Capriciosa as they get ready to turn the bend. And Miss Spoken is right there, gliding up into that second place position and Wintress comes under a ride. As they point to the 5 16th pole, Adriana Espinita holds a three-quarter of a length lead. Miss Spoken is right there trying to pounce when it counts in second. Capriciosa stays at that rail and Wintress is off the fence as they turn for home. Three deep is Miss Spoken. They still got a press pass Adriana Espinita at the rail. Capriciosa is running huge at 24 to 1. Three across the course in the final furlong and Miss Spoken has all the momentum now and rolls to the top. Capriciosa holding on to second. Miss Spoken has won. Capriciosa, a huge bomb, completes Ms. the exact... Miss Spoken wins the opener to return seven eighty four eighty three sixty. Capricosha, $18.29. Nothing makes sense for 60 and a 7 was fourth. 63.10 on the exact, 138 even on the try. 10 cents super, 62.21. Second half, the early daily double claim and eight non winners of three, one mile and 70 yards. Here's your second half, the early daily double. Away and running. Nice start. Urban Warrior breaks right on cue. Spitester Red showing toe, and Sunny Saint guns it from gate seven. And Illustrious is right there in the chasing herd, and so is codename Brody. LaFletcha is second last, and where's the bends? Can see them all. Around the first turn they go. Sunny Saint is the leader, but the rail belongs to Spitester Red. And three deep on the track is codename Brody. The first one in is the third one past the six and a half. Urban Warrior broke on top and wrangled off the speed today to sit in fourth. And Illustrious is chasing the speed at 6-5 to five from that 5th place position. A gap of 2 back to LaFletch and the one who's tailed off badly is Where's the Benz. 5 furlongs out and spites the red as the solo act and shows the way by a length and 3 quarters. Sunny Saint right there chasing the speed, still under tight rein in 2nd. And Urban Warrior getting closer to the both of them. Codename Brody's deep on the course but starts to advance. Illustrious the chalk is right there in a position to challenge. But has a bit of traffic trouble as they negotiate the turn. La Fletcher's under a ride and nothing today from Where's the Benz? And still Spitester Red continues to call the shots. Chasing in second is Sunny Saint. Deep on the course, Illustrious now starts to make his move and Urban Warrior stays at the rail with a quarter to go. Here comes Illustrious on the far outside to confront Spitester Red at the top of the stretch. Illustrious gets a reminder and responds and kicks away at the top of the stretch. Spitester Red tries to dig deep and find more distance third urban warrior and sunny saint battle for the balance but the favorites are one two with a hundred yards left to go illustrious from off the pace runs away to win illustrious jogs to the wire give crispin his 11 give illustrious 463 22 20 spikes to red was second 360 240 and sunny saint was third 320 the one was four, 730 on your exact, the 1350 on your try, your daily double 1430, your 10 cent super $10 and 73 cents. That'll bring us up to the third race, Philly Mayor style, claiming 16, non winners of two, going five and a half furlongs. Here's Josh. 
away and running. Good start for Maestria. One from the outside, Austin Birdie shows plenty of dash, and so does my boss. And show him whose boss came away in that fourth place position. Mitty rides the rail. Deep on the track is Miss Betty, and in tight was Luck Be a Lady tonight. Got shuffled to last. But the speed's on display for Maestria. She blazes the trail to the three and a half for long peg and shows the way by two. My boss trying to keep up in that second place position, and Austin Birdie rides that rail. Miss Betty now claims fourth in front of Mitty. Show him who's boss and trailing his luck be a lady tonight. The quarter pole fast approaches and Maestria continues to have a sizable lead over the other gals as they turn for home. Maestria struts her stuff to a six-length lead. Awesome Birdie's the only one with a chance in second. My boss has no more to give. Miss Betty is closing in late, but the furlong pole passes. Maestria's a little tired. Awesome Birdie's closing in a big way, and here comes Awesome Birdie with power and pace. Awesome Birdie at six to one to win. Awesome Birdie came out of the clouds, going off at six to one. Give John Rigateri his first two day, give him his ninth. Garul Minna his first to two day, give him his 28th. And the winner will return 1484, 2280 Mysteria, 22220. Miss Betty was third, $3, and the eight was fourth, 1440 on the exact, a 2120 on the try, 1990 on the double, 4160 on the pick three, and your super was worth $11.83. We'll have two year olds made in 25,000 going three quarters of a mile. Here's a good one. Away and running. Guapo Ness was the first one to break the line. Swifty Devil showing good early speed, and Dizzy Kitty is up the inside too. And Dark gets closer in that third place position. River Full is second last, and the lady who's trying to beat the boys today, Golden Heart, is last of all. Four and a half furlongs to go. Swifty Devil's making play and shows away by a length and a tail. Guapo Ness is right there, hot on the chase in second, and a ground-saving Dizzy Kitty comes under a ride in that third-place position. Darts off the fence and takes a clear shot at the top two, while Riverfull drops away, and Golden Heart's a long-looking last midpoint of the one-and-only turn. Swifty Devil continues to carve out the clock, and the lead is decent. It's about two. Guapo Ness is hot on the chase in second. A distant third is Dart and Dizzy Kitty as they roll past the quarter pole, and Swifty Devil kicks away from the off opposition now and a confident jockey up and Jeremy kicks away from the opposition. Guapo Ness is trying to hold second. Dizzy Kitty battles with that one. Dart has no more to give. Golden Hearts laid on the scene but this is over. Swifty Devil at three to five lift up to the hype. Swifty Devil on cruise control. Swifty Devil was on cruise control as Josh Brown said going off at three to five. Give Pecorero his 12th. Give Jimmy Rhodes his 30th and give Swifty Devil his maiden. 322-2210, Dizzy Kitty, 322-60, uh, Griponis, 360, and a two was fourth, 470 on the exact, a 1360 on the try, 1530 on the double, 1485 on the pick three, and your other pick four, 9435, and your 10 cent super, $10.30. Let's move to the turf course, one mile and 70 yards, beating Phillies and Mares, claiming 20,000. Here come your turf horses. Away and running. Slow to go is Lady Flintshire. Good speed from me, Yahi. The rail belongs to Kisses for Hannah, and one path off the inside is Queen's Warrant as they link up. And where did you go in the pink cap? Came away in that third place position. Donna Lyrica over the soft going is in fifth position early on, and Milsan tries to take that position away. Green screen, Queen's in front of Life's a Winding Road, and last of all is Lady Flintshire. Around the first turn they go, and there's no pace on as Mi Yayi sets a soft tempo on the soft ground and leads three quarters of a length. Where Did You Go is starting to apply that token pace pressure in second, and Kisses for Hannah is wrangled back to be a joint third. Queen's Warrant is in between rivals, and on the deeps outside is Donna Lyrica trying to advance a few spots and now claims third. Deep on the track in the fourth place, path is green screen queen along with life's a winding road second to last is Mulzan, who's in traffic and last of all is lady flintshire three and a half furlongs to go me yai continues the lead but here comes a two-pronged attack where did you go is one path off the rail dot lyrica is caught wide both turns green screen queen is right there in a menacing mood kisses for hannah's dropped the way along with life's a winding road as they get ready to turn the side and now where did you go confronts me yai as the quarter 
Harper poll fast approaches. Green Queen Crane is right there with no excuses. These are the three as they turn for home. Miyagi continues the lead. Where did you go is right there too. And behind the speed is Green Queen Crane. There's a furlong left. Where did you go now strikes the top. Now Miyagi has no more to give. Closing in inch by inch is Green Queen Crane. Mulsan flying from out of the clouds. The winner is where you go to be Green Where did Queen. you go? Uh, gets the job done. Drop from 25 to 20. A small drop but good enough. 864, 2260. Green Queen Queen 360, 260. Muzzin Annie. 320 and then nine was fourth 14 nine you on the exact at 2395 on a try five three daily double nine seven you pick three forty seven dollars and your 10 cents super sixteen dollars and eighty cents that'll bring us up to the sixth race optional claim is sixteen thousand this is our feature one mile and 70 yards they're on their way in the feature away and running good speed in the center for omati one from the outside is Tiny Tin, and there goes the speed of Boss Logic as they settle down, so the early advantage goes to Boss Logic. Off the rail, Omati tracks in that second place position, and Winston Pegg came away in third as they go around this first turn run. Deep on the course, under the radar, the rail is wide open for Clubman if good enough. Second last is Tiny Tin, and Bronco Maria is on that outside now passing Tiny Tin for that second last position. So passing the three quarter of a mile point, and the leader's Boss Boss Logic and shows the way by a dwindling length and a quarter. Omadi's under a nice hold in second and is a three-pronged attack behind that rival, including under the radar who's wide. Clubman is a ground-saving joint third, and in between rivals is Winston Pegg that comes under a loose rein. Bronco Maria is trying to tack on to those five, and last of all is Tiny Tin. Four furlongs to go for Boss Logic, who has no excuses today and has not been challenged whatsoever. Omati is right there, getting closer to a paceless affair. Under the radar, three deep around the turn with three furlongs to go. Clubman travels fourth, and Winston Pegg comes under a ride as they get past the 5 sixteenths pole. Boss Logic's on the inside, and Omati confronts the speed. And these two kick on for the top of the stretch where Omati comes calling for the lead. Boss Logic tries to dig deep. Deep and five more. Clubman is trying to close in with the red cap under the radar right there too. 200 yards left to go. Omadi's not out of the woods yet. Boss Logic kicked right back. And Boss Logic is resurgent on the rail and kicking away at two to five. Boss Logic refused to lose. Boss Logic wins the feature today. Give Jamie Ness his 43. Give Rodriguez his 82nd. Boss Logic returned 280, 210, 210 FSK. Omonte was claimed 280, 220. Under the radar, 260. 1A was fourth. 360 on the exact at $3 on the try. 780 on a deadly double. 855 on a pick three. 10 cents super, $2.14. Seventh race, back to the turf course, made in special week on one mile on the 16th. Here's Josh. Away and running. On the inside, Nantasket Beach was quick off the blocks. There goes the speed of pressing concern, and Tepper's also right there, too. And fun with Mun from that outside gate gets over to the three path. Second last is changing the karma, who bumped with Delta Ridge soon after the start. A circuit of the track remains, and pressing concern sets the tone, and that leads only an eck. And Tepper right there close in attendance, too, with six and a half for longs to go. Nantasket Beach has the run of the race and tracks the speed from that third place position, and a Clear fourth is fun with Munn, who's about four lengths off the speed, which is held by press and concern. In tight was Delta Ridge, who's had a tough tip so far, and changing the karma's three deep, leaving the first turn behind. So they throttle that speed, and pressing concern is the one who leads, and that leads us three quarters of a length as they flash behind the trees, and Tepper is right there keeping tabs on that speed. Nantasket Beach is ready to roll, but not yet, says jockey Michael Sanchez, and changing the karma is now dipped out to take that third spot away. Fun with Mun is also in the thick of it too, and Delta Ridge is not far behind as they go towards the three. And it's still pressing concern who has the pace in his hands. Tepper is right there, breathing down that rival's neck in second, changing the karma's in that fourth place position. And Nantasket Beach is ready to play his hand now. And Delta Ridge is behind a trio of speed as they turn for home. Here's Nantasket Beach, three wide at the 316th and overhauls the opposition. Delta 
Delta Ridge now closing in for a minor award. Tepper has no more to give, and pressing concerned faltered right when it mattered the most. But Nantasket Beach looked like a winner at the back of the track and rolls to an easy win here. Nantasket going off at four to five here. Jimmy Lawrence is fourth. Good Michael Sanchez is 36. And Nantasket Beach breaks his maiden return 362 22 10. Tipper was second 242 10. Fun with Mum 240. And the four was four 310 on your exacta. 440 on your try. $2.90 on your daily double. 50 cent pick three 355. And your pick three seven dollars. Your 50 cent pick five 146 45. And your 10 cent super. $2.35. That'll bring us up to the eighth race, which is a claiming uh, non winners two going one mile. Here's the finale, and here's Josh. Away and running. Good speed from I Am It. Ruthian gets over to the paint. Braces is also right there. Red Cap belongs to Super Necessary. And Rocky Dice is five wide, trailing the speed sweetly as runner. And last of all is mine, not mine. Around the first turn they go at the six and a half. And I Am It emerges from out of the crowd and leads by a length and a half. Super Necessary takes up the chase in second and pulling hard is runner in a joint third. Braces is ahead of that rival and deep on the course is Rocky Dice. Behind the speed is Ruthian, also under a stout Stug restraint and my not mine continues to bring up the rear. Five furlongs to go and left isolated as I am it. No challenger yet. And now Ruthian senses a slower pace. And here comes Ruthian with a sweet rail skimming run. Braces is three deep, four wide as runner. Super necessary is out in no man's land. My not mine is picked off Rocky Dice at the back of the pack. Around the turn they go. Ruthian made this bold bid for the lead, but Braces is ready to kick right back. I am it gets a couple of niggles to stay with the speed. Runners off the fence and mine not mine needs to do a lot better than that and has a quarter of a mile to try to catch the new leader. Braces comes off the turn at eight to five with a one and a half length lead. Ruthian is giving chase in second. Mine not mine continues to save ground. I am it tries to re-rally but Braces has made a break for it and has kicked away from the opposition. Mine not mine, Ruthian and I am it all battle for the exotics. But Braces made that bold bid around the far turn, and the favorite has finished first. Braces wins the finale, going off at 8 to 5. John Rigateri gets his second of the day, gave him his ninth. Mina gets his second, gave him his 29th, and put 523, 40, and 240 in your pocket to the winner. Ruth and Ann, 580, 320. Mine, not mine, 220. I am it was fourth. And your exact 11th century, your try was worth 12.30, your daily double one and three, 5.60. Your pick three was worth $4.10. Your 50 cent pick four, 25.05. Your 10 cent super, $7.92. Let's look at the leading jockeys here. Uh, our boy, Jamie Rodriguez picks up one, Suarez gets one, Sanchez gets one, Jimmy Rose gets one, Mina gets two. And on the other side of the board, when we look at the trainers, you'll see that uh, Ness picks up one and that our boy Tony Pecorero picked up one today. So that was a look at the races from the Thursday. Our handle, I know, was pretty good, uh, $2,043,492. So I'm your host, J.J. Gracie, for Lane Tapman, Chris Rooney, and all the crew here at Delaware Park. Good night and good race, and always find yourself in the winner's circle.